Hey guys, welcome back. It's Neon. We're going to talk about the Vic Mignogna situation and Jamie Marshy. Has she been fired from Funimation? God, this is just, uh, this is wild. This is wild. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please uh, take a minute to subscribe. It absolutely helps us grow the channel, helps us bring you more content, helps us rank on Google. Uh, it's been amazing. Uh, over the last couple of weeks, you guys have been helping us out. We really, really appreciate that. We want to keep bringing you content. Um, we're going to talk about the Vic Mignogna situation. Again, we normally don't touch on the Twitter drama because we can't substantiate a lot of stuff going on. A lot of it's just kind of rumor and speculation. But in this case, it does look like Jamie Marshy has been uh, let go from at least one project at Funimation. Now, the interesting thing is... We're not seeing a tweet from Funimation making a big deal out of how they let go of Jamie Marshy, like they did with Vic Mignogna. Vic Mignogna gets let go, and they have to tell everybody he's been terminated and put on a big uh, show of how uh, righteous they are to terminate Vic Mignogna. Jamie Marshy, who apparently, as I understand it, has been trying to hide from being served. <laughs> you know, she's supposed to go to court, and she doesn't want to get served, so she was, like, hiding out, and she's made jokes about it on Twitter. Uh, she doesn't, they, they don't say anything about it. They don't say anything about it. So there is kind of a double standard going on here, isn't there? Uh, I'm going to read this article from Bounding in the Comics, and I'm going to give a little thought on this and what I would do in this situation, uh, given how sticky it has become. So Bounding in the Comics, Jamie Marshy replaced in Strike Witches, 501 First Joint Venture Wing. That is a title and a half. Sparking rumors, rumors of firing from Funimation. Rumors have begun circulating that Dragon Ball Super and My Hero Academia voice actress Jamie Marshy has been fired from Funimation due to a casting change regarding one of Marshy's current voice acting roles. Last month, a discussion thread titled Strike Witches 501 First Joint Fighter Wing Takeoff dubbed was started on the Funimation current season discussion forum. Originally, the opening post of the topic simply provided a short summary of the series alongside a list of the English ADR team and the English language voice cast, including Jamie Marshy as Charlotte Shirley Yeager. However, a recent update to the opening post indicates that Marshy will not be voicing Yeager in the upcoming sixth episode of the series. That's like she got canned pretty quick. With Magical Girl Raising Project voice uh, actor Caitlin Barr stepping in for Marshy. Uh, so yeah, here we go. She's not, she's not here. Uh, she was on the original cast listing. She's not here. Screenshot of the updated post in the 501 first uh, joint Fighter Wing Mega Thread listing Caitlin Barr as Shirley in episode six. Yeah, stepping in for Jamie Marshy. Oh, that's interesting. Stepping in for. Stepping in for. Following the announcement of Marshy's replacement, rumors began to circulate that this replacement indicated that Marshy had been fired by Funimation. This rumor, again, this is a rumor, was met with various opinions among fans as some celebrated, some re reached out to Marshy out of concern, and others reminded audiences this announcement was merely a rumor. You know what? There were a lot of other things that were rumors that were taken as fact. Uh, it just depends on who you are, right? So, there are reports that Jamie Marshy has been fired from Funimation because she's been replaced in Strike Witches. Can anyone confirm this? Uh, Penelope, goodbye, Jamie Marshy. If it's true, you're fired. You won't be missed. Ouch. Uh, not only had you attacked an innocent man and fans who disagree with you, but you also ruined dubs. Okay, that is an opinion. Uh, Dorothy, oh my God, Jamie, I heard rumors you've been fired from Funimation. Please tell me this is a lie. Please tell me you still work there. Are they, they lying again? Uh, I'm hearing rumors that Jamie Marshy got fired from Funimation, but that's uh, only that, rumors. Unless there's confirmation, we don't know if that's true or not, so let's not jump to conclusions for the time being. Rumors, right? This is the problem. This is the problem with rumors. Uh, in the case of Vic Mignogna, there were a lot of rumors of wrongdoing, but there was no confirmation. But conclusions were jumped to. And, uh, you know, now there's a lawsuit going on and Vic is suing people for jumping to conclusions that led to him getting fired. Again, if Jamie has been fired from Funimation, Funimation did not make a big deal about this like they did with Vic Mignogna. Vic Mignogna, they had to put a post up telling people exactly why they got rid of Vic, which probably scared off other potential employers from working with him. Very, very weird. Uh, so, yeah, stepping in for Marshy, which would indicate this replacement was temporary, most likely uh, in order to meet their simulcast obligations. As of this writing, Marshy's firing from Funimation remains unconfirmed, as neither Funimation or Marshy have publicly addressed the subject. Uh, okay, so my take on this, all these guys here, right, 
Monica Rial and Ron Toy and, and Marshy, you know, the ones who are involved in the Vic Mignogna lawsuit, this all should have been handled behind closed doors at Funimation. And, and they just are constantly out there on Twitter beating the drum. I mean, Marshy's out there joking about how she's hiding from the law because they tried to serve her. She was conveniently never home to be served, right? I mean, and then she was joking about it. She's making a joke out of it that they had to just, you know, pin the damn thing to her door and say, that's it, you're served because you're, you're never here. You know, and she's making a joke about it on Twitter. And, and I'm sorry, their behavior... You know, regardless of what you think of Vic Mignogna, you cannot have the co-workers out there on social media making all kinds of wild accusations, speculations, jokes that make the company look really bad. It makes Funimation look really bad that their voice actors are out there getting involved in, in this bullshit. It all needs to be taken care of behind closed doors, regardless of what the outcome is. If I were in charge of Funimation, and I am not, but if I were in charge of Funimation and this continued, I'd be like you guys... If you keep talking about the situation, if you keep poking the bear, we will either put you on probation or terminate your employment because we can't have you damaging the Funimation brand any further. That would be the correct way to respond to this because these guys just keep stoking the fire. You know, and so much of the backlash on YouTube and all of these YouTube videos, a lot of it you can trace back to stupid things these people have said. They need to stop talking. I'm going to be honest, they need to stop talking. And maybe this is Funimation's way of being like, you're on probation until we figure out what the hell is actually going on. Because if it turns out that, uh, you know, they are found uh, guilty of, of uh, you know, damaging Vic Mignogna's career, of defaming him, there's going to be some real financial repercussions for Funimation. And they're running at the mouth. And I think Funimation wisely... I mean, it's that damn time they did something smart. Wisely maybe distancing themselves from them for now until the court drama plays out and we get a verdict. Um, again, if it were me and I knew I had these people out there running at the mouth, damn near every day on Twitter, you know, m making ill-timed jokes and, and talking about uh, a very serious situation in such a lighthearted manner, I would be like, guys, either shut up or you're out the door. And that might be what's going on here. I don't know, but it's very curious that she's being replaced. Again, though, that shows the double standard. Funimation made a big deal out getting rid of Vic Mignogna. They put a tweet out about it. They're like, oh, Vic, you know, because we take these allegations very seriously. So Vic is gone. You know, just so you know, guys, we're one of the good guys. We got rid of Vic. Uh, if that is what happened with uh, Jamie Marshy, they're not making a big deal out of it at all. In fact, I would suspect... If these people wind up being found guilty, if Funimation winds up losing this case, they will quietly be ushered out the back door. And uh, they're not going to make a big production out of it because to make a big production out of it, you have to admit that your voice actors were out there uh, smearing the name of of someone who you know did not do what they claimed he did and also that you lost your court case and it looks bad. Like you have to admit that you were wrong publicly. So I think if they do lose, if Funimation uh, loses this thing, I, I think these guys are going to just be shown the back door, um, you know, out in the alley by the dumpster. Uh, you know, they're just going to be ushered out the back. Again, you know, it's up, it's up to the courts to decide what's going to happen. But these people are not helping their case any by running at the mouth on social media. So as actual news starts trickling down the pipeline, we will cover Vic Mignogna uh, more often. But right now, I'm just kind of looking for uh, anything that has a concrete a concrete uh, uh, basis in reality. And, and having her removed from this production definitely uh, you know, does lend some credence to the rumor that she might have been fired from Funimation. But it is a rumor. It's just a rumor, right? Uh, in her case, it's just a rumor. So please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, rants, gaming videos, art videos, and more. This has been Neon. We'll talk later. Hey guys, thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.